Thanks Keeps for sponsoring this video. This is one of the most unique and bizarre ingredients I ever came across. It comes from the Susepilum diffusimum plant, and when eaten, it causes a chemical reaction in your taste buds, changing your sour and bitter tastes to something sweet. But it does even more things. You see, this effect is due to something called Miraculum, which is used commercially as a sugar substitute. Funny enough, they also have pills made out of this thing. It makes the experience a lot easier for anyone to try. Now I know what you're thinking. Is this a joke? That's exactly what I thought. So we put it to the test. Lemon. It tastes like an orange. It tastes like a sour tangerine. That tastes so good. <laughs> what the hell is that? That is so cool. <laughs> it tastes like funnel cake. That is insane. Tequila. It doesn't burn as much. I think I need to drink some more. Red wine vinegar. What? <laughs> it tastes like grape juice. That is insane. Balsamic vinegar. Wow. Almost like chocolate. Not quite chocolate, but almost chocolate. That's really good. As you can see, this fruit really works. And today we're going to pair it up with some incredible ingredients to see what happens when you mix this with steaks. Because for this cook, I'm using these three beautiful New York strip. They are one and a half inches thick and choice grade, which is perfect for this experiment. For this stage, I kept it real simple. I only seasoned them with salt followed by freshly ground black pepper and garlic powder. That's it, nothing else. As the next two things is the real star. We're talking about these two compound butters. And here's the very first one, kimchi. As you know, kimchi is not only spicy, but also sour. It is the perfect thing to try with the Miracle Berry. Now to make the compound butter is extremely simple, because all I have to do is to throw everything into the food processor, process it on high. As you can see, everything got nicely chopped. Then I threw in room temperature butter and mixed everything together. Once that's done, all there's left to do is to put it in a clinch plastic, roll everything into itself, and that, my friends, is a kimchi compound butter. The only thing left is to give it an hour in the refrigerator so that it can solidify. Because once done, take a look. Slicing it up is not that easy. Everything just crumbles. But hey, we got it to the end result. Kimchi compound butter. The big question is how is it gonna taste with the Miracle Berry? Well, we'll find out real shortly because I also have the second compound butter and this one you are very familiar with. We're talking about pickles. As you know, pickles are also sour. But to make the compound butter, it is exactly the same process. Throw it in the food processor, process it on high, add some room temperature butter, process it once again, roll it in the clinch plastic, let it solidify, and that's it. Your compound butter is ready. Slice it up and take a look. Pickles compound butter. I never thought I would be saying that. Now I wanted to try something else as well. If there's one sandwich I really enjoy is the Reuben. So I went ahead and made some simple sliders. Now this is the special ingredient of a Reuben sandwich. Sauerkraut. This thing is stinky, but most importantly on its name says at all. Sour. So how is it going to taste? For the bread I'm using sweet Hawaiian buns. As you can see I'll be making mini sliders out of it. I sliced up the bread, added Thousand Island dressing, then I immediately threw in sauerkraut, made sure to spread it nicely, then of course corned beef, a good amount, or well, maybe a ridiculous amount. To finish it off, I added baby Swiss. I was also not shy with it. Then I covered everything on top, put it in my oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. Once the time was up, I took it out, basted it with a little bit of butter. Now that is an easy to make Reuben sandwich slider. And I'll tell you right now, these things are delicious. And you saw how easy it is to make. But I'm wondering what the Miracle Berry is gonna do to it. Well, we're gonna find that out real shortly because as you know this experiment is all about the steaks and for that the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them first i'll be putting a nice beautiful sear and don't forget i'll be also placing my compound butters right on top once that's done i'll be cooking them in indirect heat until i reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees fahrenheit and hopefully they're gonna taste fantastic because now i say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steaks so let's do it
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Keeps. And trust me, before every video, this is what I got to do. And that's because two out of three guys were experienced hair loss before they're 35, and I am one of them. Which one of you two is next? Not me, because I got my Keeps. And I'm keeping my hairline, so. Keeps offer clinically proven, researched back treatment to stop hair loss and improve hair loss. Get quality expert care without ever visiting a doctor's office. Treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of traditional pharmacy. Keeps Physician will help you select the right products and treatments for your specific hair condition and hair goals. They will establish a routine that works for you whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take better care of the hair you have. Keeps got you covered. And by the way, they have a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists ready for you 24-7. Hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% of your first order, go to Keeps.com slash Google Foods or just click the link on the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Google Foods. Thanks Keeps for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful feast, Momo Zing. We're gonna have some huh? weird stuff over there. It's like a flag, right? What's I don't know which on? country, but it's like a flag color, everybody. Man. It's a colorful steak. <laughs> so you know already about the spill, Momo Zing. We yes. tried it. It definitely worked for both of us. Uh -huh. We had other people try it as well, and I'm gonna show you all the results in a little bit so that you can see. Mama Zin, we're gonna take a ride. You ready? Let's do this. All right, let's do this, everybody. Cheers. It's kind of sour as your mouth, but yeah. it's not really sour. It's, it's weird. It's berry. This is a very interesting experiment for me. I can't stop smiling on, smiling on this video. You know what I mean? This is a kimchi compound butter. Ooh. Yeah, we love kimchi. We love kimchi. Yeah, this is a pickle compound butter. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about this one. <laughs> this one might be nasty unless it tastes like something else. Yes. And this is just straight up traditional Reuben sandwich. Reuben sandwich has sauerkraut, you know what I mean? So oh, sauerkraut okay. is a little sour. Yeah, yeah. But uh, this is amazing. As you can see, it's missing too. I don't know why, you know what I mean? Uh, I wonder why. <laughs> All right, so let's go for it, Mama. Let's go for a ride over here. We're going to give All you right. guys an honest reveal. Control, there's nothing here. Straight up Buga steak. Let's see if it makes any difference. Oh, amazing stuff. Huh? Enough. Let's see if it Here tastes any different. Cheers. Cheers guys. Ah. Tastes amazing, but it tastes a little sweet for me. No. No? I didn't notice. I think I need more salt or something, Mama. It's so sweet. It's not that sweet. It's no. not that sweet for you? No. Oh my God, it's really, really sweet for me. It's like it has sugar on it. No, I don't get that You don't all. get that? No. Wow. Okay, this is insane for me. I'm telling you right now. Okay, let's go for the second one. You ready? Oh yeah. All right, let's see. Kimchi, Mama. Sense. Now, let's be honest. Kimchi compound butter already sounds good. Cheers. Cheers guys. Wow, it does not taste like kimchi at all. It tastes like apple. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know this taste, but it does not taste like kimchi. It's still a little spicy. It's There's little no bit. sourness for me whatsoever. Wow. I'm going to say this, and I know you're going to sound like I'm crazy. It tastes like apple pie. No. This is insane. It tastes like a not sweet applesauce. Not sweet applesauce. Well, you're not getting the sweetness. That's the thing. It's acting different for you than yeah, for me. I'm not getting the sweetness at all. I don't feel any spiciness at all. It's almost like you can taste the spiciness, but it doesn't burn. Yeah, like you have the feeling, but it's not yeah. like... Yeah, exactly. Let's try the Reuben sandwich. Can we try it now? Yes, let's try the Reuben sandwich. I'm curious. Okay, you ready, Momo? Let's go. Let's find out. Cheers, guys. Cheers, everybody. Now that is sweet. It's not sweet, mm. it's extra sweet. There's something weird with this cheese. <laughs> it's just Swiss cheese, there's nothing wrong with it. No, there's something weird with this cheese. <laughs> the cheese is extremely sweet for me, it's like sugar. You've never had a Reuben like this if you eat this magical mm. berry. But it's good, it's not bad. No, it's good. That is very amazing. Now, pickles. Pickles. I like pickles, but let's see how it tastes on a steak. Usually I don't want my pickles on a steak, you know what I mean, Mama? Yeah. It's... Come on, man. Pico compound butter. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Pico compound butter. All right, cheers. Oh my God, it's like taking a bite of sugar. It tastes like pickle, but without the sourness. For me, it's straight up crystalline sugar. The steak itself tastes like a steak, but a yeah. sweeter steak. The pickles is rock sugar. That's what it is. Mm. And like I said, not everybody experienced the same thing with these berries. Here's what everyone else thought of it. Holy shit. It tastes like a tangerine. That is so weird. What? It's a gimmick, boys. <laughs> it's a gimmick. <laughs> this does not taste like a lemon at all. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like going in waves for me. It started really sour, got sweet, got sour again. And now it's sweet. I don't know, it's really weird. I, I don't know, I don't think it's that different. Here it's pickles. Cheers, everybody. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't even know how to describe it. It tastes like candy pickles. Oh my god, that is awful. Great. Oh, no, no, no. Something ain't right. It's bitter. Not good. Definite no on that one, for sure. That was terrible. <laughs> now we got some ketchup. See if it can make it any better. Oh my god. Pure vinegar. Sriracha, guys. Let's see. Maybe it's just lemon. Maybe lemon doesn't work for me. I don't think this works for me. But that's the result. Isn't it crazy? I'm telling you, everybody, I highly recommend you giving it a try because it might work for you or it might not. And if it works, it is interesting. It is interesting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned something new. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.